Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Um, I've got actually Raven right over here. So you might see her ears kind of pop over. She's She is determined to be in my videos. But anyway, so I'm going to be doing a walkthrough for another planner. And this planner is also for 2023 and is also related to the um, or very much integrated with the lunar or moon cycle. So this planner is the new and full moon magic diary for 2023 it's a combination of a planner and kind of a workbook and it's interesting because it's really focused on the new and the full moon versus all the different phases of the moon cycle like the waxing crescent and things like that so um, i'm going to go ahead and walk through this but if you have any questions at the end of this video let me know this is definitely an interesting planner if you want some really basic moon stuff and you want to do some basic planning with, with um, next year as well. All right, before I jump into the walkthrough, I just wanna mention that this journal is an eight and a half by 11, and it's a full year of 2023. And the structure inside of this um, is mostly, week, it's all weekly layouts as far as calendaring is concerned, but there's also a quarterly element to it, which a monthly and a quarterly element to it, which I'll show it to you when we get there. All right. So first of all, the front of this planner has a lot of references, but before I get into the references around the moon, the moon stuff, I want to show you that there is a description or instructions on how to use this moon magic diary. So for each new and full moon in 2023, there are pages for creating your altar, which I'll show it to you. There are pay, there's a place to set your new moon wishes and your full moon intentions. And there's also um, tracker pages to record what you've manifested. The other important thing to really note here is that anywhere where you see times, that all dates and times are given in Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. So make sure that you keep that in mind as you're walking through this planner and you're utilizing it. So the first big layout we have here is a yearly view that has the new moons and the full moons designated on the calendar for reference. Next, we have moon phases for 2023, again, all in GMT time. And um, you'll notice that the new moon, first quarter, full moon, and last quarter moons are listed here. Also, we have sun transits for 2023. So, you know, when, you know, January 20, we're in Aquarius. February 18th, we're now in Pisces. And then you'll also see the key to symbols. Here are the symbols for first quarter, last quarter, full moon, and new moon. Also, here's a reference guide on how do, we, how do the new and full moons affect each zodiac sign. So this is super interesting. I've not seen this in any other planner before. So for example, with Aries, the full moon can lead to the ending of a project and gaining recognition for the work and effort put in. So this is gonna be a great reference as the moon is moving through the different zodiac signs. Also, you'll notice on these two pages, we have a simple new moon ritual that you can do and also instructions for a very simple full moon ritual. Next, we have pages to capture important dates. And then we have a couple pages here to capture what you plan to do, manifest, intention setting for 2023. And then we have quarterly layouts. So first quarter monthly plans and goals, second quarter monthly plans and goals, third quarter and last quarter. I love planning at a quarterly level. I think it's cool that this planner includes that. And then we be start into the weekly layouts. The full moon of the month. So in January, that's gonna be the wolf moon. So this planner provides you information about the wolf moon that you can reference right here. Also, it is mentioning that um, we're moving into Capricorn. So you'll notice that Capricorn is here. Next is a page for what is the altar you can set up for the full moon in Cancer. So the full moon is going to be in Cancer this month. 
I want to make it really clear because I don't know that I did. This Capricorn sign is more related to the Zodiac and where it is in terms of the Zodiac. This is telling you what sign the full moon is going to be in and it's a place for you to set your intentions there. Then we kind of go through these weekly layouts and when we get to the new moon, which is here on Saturday the 21st, again, space to um, plan an altar for the new moon and set new moon intentions. Next, we have towards the end of the month, you're going to be looking at the full moon. What did I manifest? You know, what was the date that it came through? New moon, what did you manifest? What is the date that it came through? And then we go into February and now we have the snow moon, which is gonna be the full moon. And we're moving into Aquarius as far as the zodiac sign is concerned. And again, my altar for the full moon in Leo my full moon intentions. So it's really well done um, and it looks like it'd be really fun to write in. Also, I just wanna mention that, again, I talked about there's a quarterly element. So there was the quarterly planning layout that you saw before, but then you'll also notice that at the end of March, there's a review. So you can review January, February, and March and look back at that season and um, capture things that um, you manifested, capture learnings, capture things you would like to celebrate. And that concludes this planner because the rest of it just goes through the end of the year. You will notice that there are is at the back a, in 2024, I plan to, and this is a place for you to start documenting things that maybe you want to pull over into 2024, the following year. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.